ちゃう Hi guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Amon and today I'm doing a mock test with Leo. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how many hours of driving lessons would you say you've done? Probably about 15 to 20 hours. 15, 20 hours from a complete beginner? From a complete beginner, yeah. Okay. And have you done a test before? No, no test okay. before. Um, test coming up? Yep, in March. Yep. Okay, so you've got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever done a mock test before? No, no mock test before. Okay, but do you know how the mock test is conducted? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. do you want me to tell you a little bit about how today will go? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. Please. Throughout the drive, follow the road ahead. Mm -hmm. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. If I'm not saying anything, you're just going straight. But if you're not sure, simply ask. Okay. okay? Yeah. I'm going to give you a bit of uh, independent driving, one manoeuvre and possibly the emergency stop. Yeah. Okay. All right, the criteria is that you drive safely, provided you drive safely, you pass. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, for anyone that's new to watching these videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and select that bell icon so that you get notification every time that I upload. Okay. Now I am going to ask you a tell me question yeah. at the beginning and a show me question whilst you're driving, okay? Okay. So for the tell me question, mm -hmm. could you tell me about the general condition of your tyres to be roadworthy, what should it be? Yeah. How do you check? Uh, don't use a reliable pressure gauge to okay. check the tyre, and you also can, um, uh, it was in 1.6 millimetres thick and no cuts or slashes in the tyre. Sounds all. good. Yeah. Okay, so whenever you're ready, we're going to head down this road. Yep. And when we get to the very end, let's make a right turn. Right turn. Wait, so you said clutch now, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Get this ready. Yep. Okay. First. Good luck Come and drive it, yeah. safely. At the end of this road, we're actually going to turn left. This road, yeah. Yeah, left. Okay, at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, please. It's the third exit. Okay. If you could pull in park up on the left, just behind the black car, get fairly close to it, but leave about a car's length of space. So okay. just don't worry about the driveway, you just got forward a bit more. Yeah. Keep going a bit further. That's great there, thank you. And drive up when you're ready. And take the next road on your left, please. Yep. And turn right, please.
ahead of us we've now got a width restriction and the key when it comes to dealing with these is to slow right down and to position really early. So after the last parked car, Leo moves over towards the left and straightens up the car as quickly as possible. And take the next road on your right please. This is quite a busy crossroads and we're making a right turn from a side road into a main road so we're last in priority. Leo was making sure the road was clear but unfortunately he gets a serious fault at this crossroads. There was a vehicle approaching pretty fast from the left hand side and when Leo moved in front of them they did have to slow down and severely break behind us. The distance at which they were approaching was okay but because of their speed we should have waited for them. Junction observations is definitely one of the main reasons a lot of learner drivers tend to fail their driving tests, so make sure to look really carefully, and if you can't see very well, be sure to edge out slowly forward until you can, and only then make a decision. Leo is really alert when it comes to checking mirrors, and he's always aware of his surroundings. With the parked vehicles ahead, he moves over towards the middle of the road really early and he's leaving a nice clearance throughout. Currently traveling on a 40 miles per hour road uphill and Leo goes into fourth gear. He wasn't fully driving at 40, but he just needed to accelerate just to get that speed right up. Now ahead of us, we have a hazard on this road. In order to get around the hazard, I would check my mirrors and signal right to make it very clear to drivers in front and behind. Leo doesn't signal, but the real issue was how he went around the vehicle. Now he's still in fourth gear and he moves over onto the opposite side of the road without an indicator and goes around the vehicle. It would have been a good idea to slow down and use a lower gear for better control. Going around an obstruction on your side of the road, make sure there's enough space for two cars to fit or that you can get around the obstruction and get back to your side of the road without slowing down oncoming traffic. In this case, we definitely should have waited for oncoming traffic, which is why Leo gets marked down for his judgment on overtaking again. So I'd like you to demonstrate how you would demiss the front windscreen.
Pavilion and park up on the left, somewhere safe. Thank you. Drive up when you're ready. following signs towards Pinna for a little while now, okay?
over your um, independent drive. Yep. Giving you signs as normal from directions as normal from now on, okay? Okay. Alright, if you could put it and park up on the left hand side, just in this space here. Don't worry about the driveways. That's fine there. Alright Liam, so shortly I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. Yep. Okay, as you're driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe. You'll see me looking around and then I'm going to give you this signal. Stop! I'd like you to stop the car as quickly, as safely as possible when you get that signal. Imagine a child's come running out in front of you. Yep. I okay. will make sure it's safe before I give you that signal, okay. so wait for my signal, okay? Yep. Drive off when you're ready. So we're still doing the emergency stop, okay? No problem. So I'll wait for my signal. In the meantime, just drive safely. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Okay. Drive off again when you're ready. I'm going to get you to do that one more time, okay? Okay. So imagine a child's come running out in front of you. Yeah. Excellent. Just wait for my signal. Yeah. Stop! Thank you, that's fine. I'm not going to get you to do that again and drive off when you're ready. Turn left, we're not doing that again, okay? If you could put it and park up on the right hand side of the road please, yeah. just in that big space there, don't worry about the drives on this occasion. Okay. Just keep driving up a little bit further. Better. That's great there. Alright, so what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to reverse back for about two car lengths, keeping a reasonable distance from the pavement, but yeah. try not to touch the curb as you carry out this exercise. So reverse back for two car lengths. Two car lengths, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes please. Good That's fine there, thank you. Okay. Drive off when you're ready. And at the end of this road, turn right, please. Yeah. Alright, so that's the end of your driving test. How yeah. was your drive for you? I thought it was alright, but I don't think I passed. Okay, why do you think that is? I thought I might get a serious fault for clearance when we were up by the back roads. I saw there a bit closer to the back car. And when you told me to turn on the front demister, I thought I 
went a little bit too far back. Nothing was around us at the time, but yeah, steering yeah. control was definitely you marked that you were marked down at that point. Mm -hmm. um, you what? drive really nicely, yeah. but there was one fault that bugged me. Choice. It was that right turn when we turned in front of that Mercedes A Class. You know when we were turning right to go towards Duck Hill. Right. But we had that yeah. white car behind us for oh, ages, uh, ages and ages. Yeah. Okay, so we were at a crossroads. Cross we're waiting to turn right. Is that when we got by the work for instruction? Yeah. Okay. So we're waiting to make a right turn, and you're yeah. looking, 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 and the right was clear ahead. The car had just gone. gone. On the left, there was somebody that Coming. was coming up, and he was. They were turning that left. way. But was that a fault? For but there was a, there was a car behind them. Too close. The white car. Oh. So the the gap from when you first judged it, the car was far away and enough mm. for you to be able to take it. But that car was fast. Too, yeah, too close. It's the speed at which they were approaching. Because as soon as mm. you turned in front of him, he was right on your tail and he was shaking his head like this. That was it. So that's the only fault that I had as a serious fault, which yeah, honestly yeah. is not that bad. And it's not really my fault, yeah. Yeah, but you need to be careful with judging their speed. speed so yeah. the gap was fine distance wise, but he was approaching fast. Too fast. And he was behind us for about two, Asia. three miles thereafter. Yeah. And he was just right on your tail the whole time. Yeah. Um, a few times when we were on the Ducks Hill, yeah. driving along 40 miles per hour, yeah. we're going uphill. We've got a hazard on the left. Yeah. You're going round it. Indicate after. Indicate. Yeah. Just make it clear. I Don't intend mind. to go round. Yeah. And also, you kind of kept it in fourth gear for a bit too long. Too we long. went down to what speed? So, yeah, I know. I found that when we were. Yeah, we were really lagging. We were, we were down to about 17, and yeah. again, the cars are now. You really should have changed gear much yeah. earlier. Yeah, you yeah. knew you were going to slow down to make that hole. So change your gear. Yeah. That's it. Change gear and signal. Yeah. Um, you did get marked down for three separate on three separate occasions for control gears because we stalled. Stalled three times, yeah. Yeah. That was poor. <laughs> Could be quick, better. Isn't it? I would have to do it just to slow down. It's not even. Rush. It's not it. I wouldn't even blame the clutch. No. You need me. to use the accelerator. The accelerator, yeah. Yeah. Because there were a few occasions. Had you been accelerating, the clutch mm -hmm. was fine. You need to just yeah. get your right foot down, especially on the slopes when you're trying to get, get a bit off. more power. Yeah. Just use the accelerator. Yeah. Okay. Um, the width restrictions, you dealt with them both really nicely. Nice, yeah. Okay, so well done for that. Junction observation, generally nice. It was just that it one on, yeah. where that car was approaching. I thought it's worth mentioning this junction observation fault which happened on this mini roundabout. Now the vehicle on the right was indicating and we did take this gap which was a bit cheeky. So generally Leo needs to take a bit more care when it comes to junctions. But yeah, just for you I'd suggest you to definitely use the accelerator yeah, so, a bit more. Yeah, that's okay. what I said at the start. The moving off on with second gear of course it's yeah, not yeah, going to work. Not. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's, that's yeah. the main things for me. Mm -hmm. The emergency stop. It was too slow the first time. It was time. way too slow. Yeah, I should have just yanked it. I just pushed all the time. firm on the brake. Yeah. You were too slow and then I gave you another chance and it was much better. Yeah. But moving off safety was good both times, so well yeah. done for that. Okay? Good luck with your test. Thank you. Hope it goes What's well. So is this a bad fail? It's not a bad fail at all. No. Think about it. You've only got one serious fault. Besides yeah. that, you had three stalls. Um, yeah. Is that a serious fault? No. Is it's not a serious fault, fault but it's just, that? it's not looking good because no. you've got three of the same. same thing. So you want to try and work on that mm. control with the gears, which means you yeah. need to be pressing the accelerator. So yeah. it's not a serious no. no. Okay, well, that's that's, that's not what I've said bad. at the start because I think I was too used to the other car because mm. I just go like this and it pulls off like it's nothing. I don't know but how. Remember, so it, look, it's not every car, isn't every it? Every car's not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good habit for yeah. you to balance, balance and coordinate. Into it. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys have learned a thing or two. If you have, be sure to comment down below, subscribe, like, and select that bell icon. And let us know what you learned from today's video, if you've picked up anything new. And um, thank you for watching. And that's it from us today. Thank you.